Well, it is potato planting time on the homestead. Uh, boy, I've been looking forward to this and I just have not been able to get out here and do this. Um, this is almost the middle of March and I've always got my potatoes in the ground by the middle or the end of February. But it has been so wet uh, all winter and then we got the snow and then we got right after the snow we got several days of rain and just now beginning to uh, to dry up to where I can come in here and cut these rows and get started on these potatoes. So I've got my house wheel hose set up on the plow position, the furrowing position, and uh, it cuts a groove down the middle, throws the dirt to either side. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get us a furrow dug for these uh, potatoes, and then we're going to get to plant them. Again, Yukon Gold Potatoes from Hoss Tools. Seed potatoes. Good looking seed potatoes. Let's get going. Now, because I was just now able to get in here with my tiller, um, I, I've got a lot of vegetation uh, that from that cover crop. A little harder to, to plow through because of that, but because um, you can see some of the green that was uh, underneath just didn't get decomposed in time because I just just now got in here and uh, a couple of days ago and tilled it. So uh, tilled in the cover crop. So anyway. Um, Going to plant my potatoes about 12 inches apart in the rows. Hope this wind is not so bad that uh, you can't hear me. But uh, plant the potatoes and then we'll cover them up. These potatoes are Yukon Gold. I cut them up two weeks ago, easy. And uh, thinking, thinking I was going to be able to get them in the ground. That didn't happen, so we're going to do it now. Again, hopefully it's not... Hopefully in two weeks they didn't mess up. Plant the, the meat side down, the cut side down, the sprout side up. So that's what we're doing. About 12 inches apart. And we'll see how many we got here. I don't know how many rows I'm gonna make, but we're gonna do our best. So I'm gonna change the wheel hoe around from plow from furrow, furrowing position to, um, to where it will cover those furrows up. So I changed it over to uh, the cover up uh, position to cover the rows. Looked like I might have tilled too deep, got into the clay instead of just getting the, the uh, cover crop so when that uh, tool covers it up throws dirt it cuts two little grooves furrows on the side as it throws dirt each way so I'm gonna come back in here and put about um, two and a half three cups of fertilizer this is a uh, house tools um, uh, well it's the organic uh, complete organic. I think it's five, four, three. And we'll put about two to three cups on this forty-something foot row, forty-one, forty-two, forty-five, something like that. And put two cups on either side of that. I'll cover that up by hand because I just don't want to get back in there with the with the plow and and risk disturbing those potatoes. So it's just I do like to cover the fertilizer up. I just don't want to uh, uh, to disturb anything. So we'll come back in here real quick and then uh, cover it up with a rake. Well I got it done, covered the fertilizer up with um, the hoe. It was just a, a better way to do it as you can see or not. There's a lot of clots and 
it's, it's going to be hard for me to come in here and heal this later on uh, when the potatoes get up and need some dirt thrown to them, need healing. It's going to be a little, going to be a little tough, I'm thinking. So what I might do, since this has uh, got a lot of clay on it anyway, what I might do is get my... Um, uh, I've got a bunch of wood chips, been piling up for about a year, and I may come in here when I see them start coming up. I may come in here and just uh, pile those up with um, instead of instead of covering them with dirt, I may pile them up with wood chips. That will help the the um, uh, clay decompose, bring in some earthworms, help help all that stuff. So it's what I'm thinking right now. I just I may try to heal it with with a wheel hoe, but it's uh, I just don't know that I've got, I don't know, if I come in here first with a cultivator and break it up good, maybe I can, but uh, you know, I want to make some potatoes, and the potatoes make above the seed potato, that's sitting in the ground, and it'll send up, send down roots, of course, and then send up some shoots, and all the potatoes will make on this shoot coming up so all the potatoes will make above that so I, you got to get some dirt above it quite a bit the higher you pile the dirt the more potatoes you'll make as a general rule up to a certain point so anyway uh i, I may do that i may come in here and, and just cover that up cover these three rows of potatoes up with um with wood chips anyway uh my battery's running low and so am i <laughs> So anyway, but I use that fertilizer. That's that Hoss uh, organic fertilizer. It uh, definitely some kind of manure. It uh, really got a manure smell to it. It smells like home to me. I like it. But uh, as my daddy would have said, it stunkins. <laughs> he used to say, it smells like somebody crept in, crapped, and crept out. It stunkins. <laughs> All right. But it's good stuff, man. If it stinks, it's good stuff, right? All right. That's it. Now I'm also going to put drip line, and uh, I'll be I'll be shooting some 20, 20, 20 to it. Uh, in in addition to what I put on the side, that's just I really should have done the organic pre-plant, but I just I couldn't get in here, just too wet. So I'll be hitting it with some 20, 20, 20 once I get my drip line in, and um, shoot, I think we're ready. We're going to have us some good Yukon gold taters lots of lots of quite a few all right hope you can hear me over all the wind we're gone <laughs>